We are continuing episodes on states of mind and how things in our environment and our body can affect our state of minds. And today we're talking about music. Our everyday states of mind shape how we think, feel, and act. And music is a powerful, helpful factor to help us change our state of mind. And music also affects aging and even can anti-age you. I did an episode on the aging a few weeks ago, and I talked about music in that episode, but today we're going to dig a little bit deeper. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kathy Owen. I am a certified fitness trainer and life coach since 2002, teaching others the stop the mind screw process. On this channel, we talk about mindset, habits, fitness, wellness, and even some reality transurfing. Today, we're talking about states of mind and how music affects them. Each state of our mind uniquely influences our perceptions, our thoughts, our feelings, memory, motivation, and interpersonal interactions, and the sense of self at that moment. Over time, repeated states become an enduring aspect of our character and behavior and even our personality. However, we mostly ignore the influence of any particular state that we are in at that moment. Music is an easy way to transform our mood. For example, calming music can reduce the physiological symptoms of anxiety, thereby activating a relaxation response. We are going to talk about six different ways that music affects your state of mind that you may or may not have thought of. Number one is stress management. Music provides calmness and relaxation, and music listening is strongly associated with stress reduction by the decrease of physiological arousal as indicated by reduced levels of cortisol, a lowered heart rate, and even decreases in blood pressure. Similar to meditation practices, music listening is linked to significant improvements in mood and sleep quality. For example, music with a slow and steady rhythm, such as meditative music, is shown to provide stress reduction by altering inherent body rhythms, such as heart rate, resulting in greater relaxation. Number two, there are emotional effects of music, and I don't have to go very far to give you an example of this. Any movie soundtrack that you adore that really pulls you into the scene is an emotional effect of music. Music can evoke a wide range of feeling states, such as exuberance, compassion, or tenderness. For example, when I was doing some research for this, I came up with the Star Spangled Banner, and it stirs up pride in some people. But just FYI, pride is on the force levels of consciousness in the book power versus force and i did a video on that and i will link it in the show notes and the description it's also on a podcast vivaldi's four seasons makes some people feel energized and the last song by elton john triggers sadness musical pleasure music has the ability to evoke powerful emotional responses. You know, the trills and thrills that we see in the movies that we happen to watch where the soundtrack is taking effect. Positive emotions dominate musical experiences. Pleasurable music may lead to the release of neurotransmitters associated with reward, such as dopamine. Dopamine releases driven by music can increase the attractiveness of the surrounding environment and the motivation to pursue and desire positive feelings. Positive feelings tend to broaden our mindset in ways that are beneficial to health and creative thinking. So when thinking about this, it takes me back to when I was in fitness instructor training and we had several hours of training on music. Music affects people's workouts when they're training with us, and your playlist can affect your workout, make it better or worse, depending on what music you're listening to. But music has a certain beats per minute. That's what we learned in this class. 
and you wanna start with the slow beats per minute at the beginning of your class when you're warming up and the end of your class when you're cooling down. But during the workout, you wanna take the beats per minute up and bring it down and take it up and bring it down just like I teach with heart rate. And that is beneficial to your health. When it comes to creative thinking, I keep returning to the playlist that I have from Metaverse. And I'll have a link in the show notes to Metaverse. They're on YouTube and they're also on Spotify. And their music is known to stir those brain waves that I talked about in another video where you want to get in optimal brain waves to think creativity, to think more focused and to keep your mind on what you're learning at the moment. And it's really powerful. I've had people even come into my office and say, oh, what's that music you're listening to is really good. And it's usually metaverse that's keeping me calm and focused. And that's what it does. Number four, social bonding. Music is thought to be the social glue that enhances cooperation and strengths feelings of unity. Music triggers the hormones oxytocin and serotonin, responsible for bonding trust and intimacy. Social isolation and feelings of loneliness can be reduced simply by listening to music. I often go back to this when I'm thinking of social bonding and with my kids. I have this one song that we, my oldest and I, listen to and he would know right off the bat what I'm talking about. But from the, it's a Phil Collins song and it's You'll Be In My Heart and it's from the movie Tarzan when my boys were little. And the story talks about how they're taken away from each other, which kind of happened with my children, and we still have that bond. And that song just triggers all of that. And it's such a great feeling that it bonded us because he knows when that song comes on, he knows what it means, he knows where it comes from, and so do I. And it's just our bonding song. You can also think of a song maybe you have with your partner or your spouse, and that is a social bonding experience. I like this one, music and time perception, and it also brought to mind something you may not have even considered. Music is a powerful emotional stimulus that changes our relationship with time. Time does indeed seem to fly when listening to pleasant music. Music is therefore used in waiting rooms to reduce the subjective duration of time spent waiting or in supermarkets to encourage people to stay for longer and buy more. Hearing pleasant music seems to divert attention away from time processing. For example, consumers spend more time in the grocery store when the background music is slow or upbeat. And music keeps workers happy when doing repetitive and otherwise boring work. Number six, music as a trigger for craving. And I have experienced this. Music is commonly found in substance using contexts. Music can act as an auditory cue for cravings in adults, especially those with addiction. But my example is I was at this place one time and they were playing some Mexican music and it just triggered me to want Mexican food. I live in Texas and Tex-Mex is a huge food. You've got to have your Tex-Mex at least once a week. <laughs> and this music was like making me want to go to my favorite Mexican food restaurant. And I'm like, oh, okay. I see what that was doing. It was triggering my craving. But they also found when I was doing research in it that individuals who repeatedly smoked cannabis while listening to reggae music may experience cravings for cannabis when they hear reggae music during a period of treatment. <laughs> so in sum, emotion is a fundamental aspect of musical experience. Music can regulate mood, cheer us up, or calm us down, reflect feelings, enhance group cohesion and family, and even influence your shopping decisions. Let's talk about music and aging. Or can it even anti-age you? 
There is overwhelming evidence that music is important for the well-being of older adults and is meaningful in later stages of life. Research has shown that both listening to and making music can reduce loneliness, promote positive effects, and provide feelings of meaningfulness and purpose in life, contributing to delayed aging. Music is also beneficial for people affected by dementia and moderate cognitive impairment. Improving their cognitive functioning and memory, mood, and general well-being positive effects have also been observed for their relatives. I used to work at an Alzheimer's facility and I just loved it. The people there were so much fun and so happy. And it's almost like the effects of dementia is worse for the family members. This is where the family comes in and their relatives are also affected by music. So what I did at this facility was I was an activities coordinator. I would coordinate games we'd play and social activities where we'd all get together and even play music and maybe dance and have some fun times and have you know, hot cocoa at Christmas and have uh, somebody come play Christmas carols and things like that. What I noticed was these people would alter their state just by listening to this music or by putting on music in the nursing home in general. And their relatives were invited to join in on these activities. And so what happened, and I saw it with my own eyes, is the people with dementia and all of the people in this home had Alzheimer's of some shape or form. And the people that had that, when the activities were taking place, you could see them shift from a different state. So that different state would be like, and they're with their family and everybody just was happy because they brought back memories because their memories are not totally gone. A lot of times, some of the people, one of the ladies would, would call on the pick up the phone and try to call and pick up her dog at the, at the groomer because she thought her dog was at the groomer. And the dog and her had been separated for years and years and years. The dog had probably even passed. So your memories do not go totally away. And something as simple as music can trigger the memory to come back to them. Listening to music that brings back memories of your younger days is very beneficial and provides an effect similar to what Vadim Zeeland in Reality Transurfing terms as forward to the past. I highly encourage you to create a playlist of your favorite songs in your 20s, whether you're 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It doesn't matter your age. These will bring back memories. And the whole entire playlist is indeed set in this time frame. Because when you dig deep into that, what happens is you start living those memories again. You start thinking those positive memories and you bring them forward to the past. So the past comes into your present and they have studies that show that this works phenomenally. And we're going to talk about that in a moment. By incorporating music into their everyday life, seniors can give their quality of life a much needed boost. Older adults benefit from music that improves their mood and brings back older, happy memories, encouraging socialization and promotes overall mental and physical health. An elderly person can benefit from music in the following ways. They get more exercise. It increases coordination and mobility. Those two things, and let me include balance, are the three things that are lost first as we age. Our coordination, our mobility, and our balance. How do we improve that? As something as simple as music. It provides more social interaction. We just talked about how music provides social interaction. It improves cognition and speech. You'll have better overall health, it reduces pain and recovery time, and it also improves your memory. It assists in memory recall, as I discussed with my dementia patients. Music is a powerful influence on human beings. It can boost memory, 
build task endurance, lighten your mood, reduce anxiety and depression, stave off fatigue, improve your response to pain, and help you work out more effectively. When I was teaching Silver Sneakers all those years, I always had a playlist that included music mm, probably from the 50s, maybe 60s, maybe even the 70s. And this really helped them, not only just in their exercise, but it helped in everything I'm talking about today. It helped boost their memory, build task endurance, lighten the mood, reduce anxiety, stave off fatigue and improve your response to pain. And it helps you work out more effectively. If you've ever worked out to an awesome playlist, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I highly recommend creating a playlist that includes popular music from your younger days and contemplating on those memories often. This will do wonders for your state of mind and as you read above and as I listed above, this reduces loneliness, promotes a positive effect, reduces anxiety and depression, improves your response to pain, and builds task endurance and provides feelings of meaningfulness and purpose in life. All of those symptoms and were complaints listed in the menopause groups that I'm in, all of those complaints were listed in there. I wonder what would happen if they created a playlist that made them feel better. In conclusion, music can and does affect your state of mind. It provides stress management. There are emotional effects of music. Music stimulates pleasure in the mind. It creates social bonding. It changes our relationship with time. And music creates triggers for cravings. Music helps with aging and actually can reverse aging. It improves coordination, motivation, helps with pain management, creates social interaction, and improves memory and cognition. All right, that's my episode for today. I hope you liked it. If you know somebody who can benefit from this material, please share this with them. And until next time, I'll see you next time. Peace out and namaste.